Yeah, I think let's start sir? because twenty-five participants are okay. Please. Okay. A very good morning to all. Uh, this is Dr. Heman Sooth, a faculty coordinator, Sanaps, uh, along with Dr. Tirath and uh, Sudhir sir, and my all faculty members. A uh, welcome to this very webinar where our alumni Gaurav Bhatt uh, would like to take a webinar. He will let the students know uh, experience of getting into IIT and how to make the exclusive and some uh, I think so very very deadly preparation so that he can crack for the IIT Guwahati. So with all this, I would like to welcome uh, Gaurav for giving your time and sharing your experience with our students and definitely your insight will help them out so that they can decide betterly and in a best possible way for their future. Right. Now the whole podium is yours, uh, Gaurav. Please go and take your whole complete time. Uh, once you feel like concluding, I'll again interface while taking questions from the mm -hmm. students, fine, so that I'll be acting as an intermediate in order to coordinate all this thing. Please Thanks to the team of Synapse, they have made it very beautiful and make it very, very comfortable for you to take your yes, session. Sir. Please, Gaurav, start with yes. your presentations and your interactions. Welcome, Gaurav. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Hemant, ma'am. and. Good morning all, like all respected professors and all the students that are here. And the moment I got this opportunity to speak and to share my experience with you all, so I just jumped into it. So firstly, I would like to uh, recall some of the moments of my JUIT time. So I will start with like, during my memories, like during, during our times in JUIT, it was called that JP was crowned as paid holidays by parents, right? I think most of the students know that, but not faculties. I will tell you why. Why it is called paid holidays? Because, because it has such a beautiful campus, firstly. Secondly, it has a very good environment. And third and the foremost, it has the most coolest of faculties with us. Like we have the coolest faculties, which never let us feel that we were away from our home. So it was just like amazing experience to be there in JYT during my five years of experience. So firstly, I would like to directly, I have made a presentation and I would like to share that presentation with all. Just give me a second. Yeah. So firstly, I will be talking about some of the training opportunities in IIT and some of the institutes in India. Secondly, I'll be uh, talking about choosing the topic for PhD during written examination and interviews. Uh, can everybody see this? Yes, Is yes. It's visible. Yeah. Then the sandwich opportunities and opportunities, uh, international exchange opportunities for a JUIT student, both masters and PhD who want to avail PhD both in JP and other institutes as well. And there is another thing, biotech parks and incubation centers that are present in IITs. So I'll be explaining a bit about them and the job and the internship opportunities in some of the NPOs. Directly, I will start with the uh, training opportunities. So there are two types of training that you can avail in uh, IITs, in IIC Bangalore, in CCMB, in different labs that are present in India. So there are two types of training that we can do. That is short-term training and long-term training. Short-term is just like a internship for two months. And the long-term is dissertation, project dissertation for six months or one year. So what are the approaches, how you can uh, avail these opportunities? So you can directly approach the professors by going to the website of the respected institute. I have also shared the link of IIT Bombay and CCMB. So you can directly go to the link and you can apply for the training opportunity. That is one protocol. So there they avail only 20 to 30 training opportunities every year for summer, summer camps. But if you want to, like if you have not got the opportunity in that 20 set number of people, you can apply to different professors based on your understanding and field of interest, you can write a mail to them along with your CV, right? Next to that, you will get an acceptance letter from those faculty members, and then you, will, you can start your training period. So I would really recommend students to do short-term trainings in most of the IITs, like there is present training opportunities in IIC Bangalore, it is there in IIT, in uh, CCMB, in all our TIFR Institute, it is there. So it will give you an opportunity to interact with different faculties and different students, and it will help you connect with different people. 
biology is all about connection right? so if you have a good connection if you know Muji, it will be very easy for you to get into master programs and phd programs ahead both in india and abroad right so next the phd admission in india there are like three routes by which you can go to a phd in india so directly after btech you can apply for phd so these are the respective examinations that you need to uh, clear like TIFR exam, ICMR. So there are nine to 10 exams. There are a lot of opportunities. Like there are so many exams, you can crack any one of them and you can apply for <laughs> Specifically for IIT, uh, GATE is required. Like even if you have GATE, you can apply for PhD in IIT as well. For students who are doing MTech and have percentage more than 80, right? So you don't need to give any of these examinations. Like you are directly eligible for your PhD in IITs and other institutes, right? There is something called JRF. So after BTEC, if you have cleared any of these exams or if you are MTEC, you are eligible for JRF. JRF is Junior Research Fellowship and you get around 31,000 uh, fellowship in these institutes, all the premier institutes. And uh, it is just like a research job. So there are projects floated and based on the projects, uh, you can apply for JRF positions. So it is very beneficial for students like us to join JRF who are like not very sure. After BTEC, we are not very sure that what we need to do. So if you are not sure that after BTEC, you want to pursue PhD or you want to pursue MTech. So I think the uh, alternate approach can be you can join JRF in any of the institute, do some project, work there for six months or one year, learn like what topic you want to really work on and then move ahead for your PhD. So that would give you a clarity in your mind that yes, what subject you should choose for, for your PhD because choosing the subject of interest and because PhD will take you around four to five years, like in biotechnology, it generally takes four to five years. In bioinfo, I think it will take three to four years. So it is a whole lot of time. So you have to invest around four to five years of your life. So you should be doubly sure like what subject on what subject you want to do your PhD. So correct. So you can opt for JRF position after just BTEC or you can after MTEC also you can apply for JRF, work there and then move ahead for a PhD program. If you want to do directly PhD, you can do it after BTEC or MTEC. If you have played any of these examinations, if you are MTEC 80%, greater than 80%, no need to clear these exams, directly apply for admissions in Institute such as IIT. So in IIT Guwahati also they, have, they take people with 80% MTech who have got 80% uh, MTech percentage in them. So next, uh, choosing the right institute. So according to the QS and NIRF ranking, there is IC Bangalore is the top, then CSI Lab, IIT, Niper, Triple IITs, VIT bits, etc. But according to me, all the all the institutes are more or less similar. It all depends on the student and the faculty under whom you want to do PhD, right? Even if you want to do PhD from JP, it is of equal weightage. It's just that maybe there are some equipments that are not available in JUIT, but the difference that lie in all these, in, there is no difference that lies in all of these institute. It all depends particularly in all the students, right? You have to be highly motivated and it all depends on your guide as well. So if you have a good guide and you are really interested in doing PhD, you can do it from any of the institute, no worries. You should not go for the label as well. So next I want to share is the topic, like what topic shall you choose for your PhD? So if you got um, admit, if you got the, sorry. So if you got a call from any of the institute, if you have cleared any of the examinations such as GATE or any of those exams that I have told, nine to 10 exams, and you're applying for PhD position, right? So firstly, you will be again writing, you have to write an exam and then you have to of a particular institute. For example, if you want to do PhD in IIT, you have to write an exam again for, for IIT. And then there is an interview in one or two panels. There are one or two panels where you have to give your interviews to them, right? For that, you have to go through the professor's website, go to the professor's website, get to know their field of expertise, get to know what are the similar alignments, like what subject you want to work on, choose some of the subjects like choose two or three topics that you want to work on. Like if you want to work on molecular biology, right? Molecular biology is a very broad term. So you should not write in your interviews or in a written exam that you want to work on molecular biology. You should be a bit specific about it. So if you're working, if you want to work on molecular biology, you can write, you can, you want to work on RNA biology or 
you want to work on transcription factors that are related to molecular biology field. So it should be a bit concise. If you want to work on uh, cancer field, so you should not write you want to work on oncology. You should say that you want to work on breast cancer or you want to work on transcription regulation of cancer in cell. So that will give an upper hand in the interviews and in the written examination as well. Third point that comes to mind is like, if you have done your uh, BTEC dissertation or MTEC dissertation, in, for example, in plant tissue culture, but now you want to work in the field of nanotechnology. So people are confused that shall I opt for nanotechnology or not? So there are chances that you will get into nanotechnology or also. So don't worry, just jump into, you can jump into another field as well. Don't worry about it. It's just that you should have a basic understanding of those subjects. Like if you want to jump from plant tissue culture to nanotechnology, you should have a bit of uh, information regarding the nanocarriers, nanoparticles, and how plant-based nanoparticles are being utilized in these days. So this kind of approach should be there when you are applying for PhD positions in India specifically. I think for a lot, uh, mostly it has been covered by all four previous webinars. So I'll be covering mostly for Indian institutes. So while you are applying for Indian institute, uh, sorry. So some institute let student visit the lab. So while you went for a written examination, so some institute also let you visit the lab visit the faculty members, talk to them. So that will give you a brief understanding that that's, you want to work on that subject or not. So that is also an approach that happens in like NCBS and NCCS and CCMB. Like after your written examination and your interview, you have a chance to choose a faculty. But in most of the IITs and most of other institutes, like the subjects are floated based on the subjects and your interest, you get the admissions, right? You choose your subject of interest, like if you want to work on uh, breast cancer. So there are uh, faculties, four or five faculties in each institute working in cancer. So you can directly choose those four or five faculties. And in your interviews, you can directly give interviews to only those faculties as well. So there is something called sandwich program and international exchange program. So this you can avail during your master degree as well as during your PhD as well. So if if you are in your master's degree, in your second year of your master's, you can apply for these Fulbright fellowships. There are Commonwealth fellowships. There are IUSST, Indo-US Technology Forum, Shastri fellowship. So you can apply for those if you are in master's degree. So when you get into PhD, like if you're doing PhD from JUIT as well, if you're thinking of doing PhD from JUIT, don't worry, you will get an opportunity to go abroad from there as well. Like some people have the craving that they want to go abroad and learn some stuff. So for those people specifically, and for like who want is students who want to go abroad for some time. So these are the opportunities that they can avail. Uh, I have heard that I was going through one of the fellowships like IUSSTF, like in one of the IUSSTF, the third one. So there are around 10 to 12 fellowships that are available. So there are a whole lot of opportunities for students to avail. So it is just that we, we never, I never knew during my uh, BTEC or MTEC that there are so many uh, scholarships that are available. These four are the, like in Shastri fellowship is for Canada, Indo-US fellowship is for US, Commonwealth is for UK, UK universities, and Fulbright fellowship is for all top universities in US. So you can apply for this fellowship, even if you are in JUIT or any of the, if you are doing PhD or master from any of the institute worldwide or in India, you can apply for these positions, right? So the, I have also shared the link. If you can see, I've shared the link in each of the, in each of the slides and you can directly avail and you can go through these slides and go to the link and get more information about each of the fellowship. I've heard that one of the uh, JUIT fellow last year got one of this fellowship, IUSSTF fellowship last year as well. So people are getting fellowship, like not only from IITs and IC Bangalore, but from JP as well. So there is an opportunity for each and everybody of us to avail this opportunity, right? Next, I want to, this is basically for people who want to consider, like who are after BTEC, who are thinking of starting a new company or who are thinking of doing research after BTEC directly. So they can avail these biotech parks. There are a set of biotech parks in some of the uh, states. I think it is, it is government based uh, biotech parks and there are eight to 10 biotech parks in India right now. And in Himachal Pradesh, I think last month I was going through our article in Himachal Pradesh, there will be a biotech park soon coming. So what are these biotech parks and incubation centers? 
these biotech park and incubation centers provide specialized and support facility for researchers and for entrepreneurs. Like specialized means like in in our institute as a JP, if there is some uh, instruments are not present, high end instrument that is a confocal microscope. It, if it is not present, you can avail that opportunity and you can avail that instrument in this biotech park or incubation centers, right? In each of the IITs, like there are around 23 IITs, there are they are having incubation centers in them. So you can avail this opportunity. Second, this biotech park incubation center provide you a lab space in lease. So if you want to have a, if you're thinking of setting up a company, so you can avail this uh, lab space, utilize their machinery, utilize their knowledge, and then work for your project or work for your uh, any uh, idea that you have in your mind. Like sometimes you have idea after BTEC, like you want to work on uh, agri, agri field, right? So if you want to work on biopesticide, you want to make some biopesticide based on uh, plants. So you can directly talk to this biotech park and incubation centers. You can avail the knowledge from these people because in each incubation center, IIT is involved and the faculties from IITs are also involved in these incubation centers. So you can avail their knowledge you can collaborate with these people and you can uh, reach as well as you can start up a new thing in that. The main aim of this uh, biotech Parga incubation center is to translate research into product. So anybody is if interested after BTEC or master to start up a company or to start working on a product, they can avail this opportunity through this biotech parks and incubation centers, right? Also, this biotech park and incubation centers uh, help you in writing proposals and also assist you and support facility for writing proposals in BIRAC and in other funding agencies. And they'll help you all through your uh, research work and through your entrepreneur journey as well. So it is basically one example of biotech park is in Guwahati, that is Guwahati Biotech Park. It is inside the IIT campus. It provides opportunity for the researchers, like we don't have a confocal microscope in IIT Guwahati. So we go to this biotech park and avail the opportunity there and avail the instrument there. We use their instrument for a normal amount of money, right? They provide lease space also, like some of the labs in our IIT, they are using the lease space from this, uh, Guwahati Biotech Park for the research because around each under each faculty there are 20 to 25 students so there is no lab space so they are using their lab space they are using their instruments they are using their webinars so it can be also used for young professionals especially BTECs and MTECs who want to have a, have any innovative business idea in their mind so they have this opportunity and also the entrepreneurs like who are thinking of investing money and working in the field of biotechnology and trying to get any product out of technology, they can use this biotech park and incubation centers, right? In the end, I would be talking about some of the job and internship opportunities that are present in some of the NPOs. So I was working in this NPO named Gene Bandhu. So it's a non-government, non-profit organization. It works for uh, blood cancer patients. It, it is basically a bridge between the donor and the patient. So there is a treatment for blood cancer patient that is stem cell transplant. So this Gene Bandhu provides the uh, uh, stem cell donor, voluntary stem cell donors. It provides the database and it provides uh, patients with the uh, people who are willing to give their stem cells for these blood cancer patients. So you can uh, go to Jean Bandhu, you can do your internship there. You can also avail the job opportunity there. Not only Jean Bandhu, but there are another sister labs that is Chimera where I was working, which is a bio-based, which is a transplant based lab, a diagnostic lab where you can learn such as DNA isolation and then flow cytometry. And there are another techniques such as NGS, they have also procured the next generation sequencer. So you can avail those technologies. And if you want to do internship there for your summer training or, or winter training, you can go there and avail that opportunity. Yeah. I've also given the link there. Next is 1M1B. 1M1B exists to activate 1 million leaders who would impact 1 billion people worldwide. So this is, a, this is an organization that is created in line with the UN uh, sustainable goal. So UN sustainable goal comprise of 17 uh, different goals 
which are basically some of the examples are climate change, education for poor, and then women empowerment. If anybody of you wants to work in this field, you can go to one M one B, and uh, you can help them procure their uh, objectives. That is by two thousand thirty, they achieve. They are thinking to achieve these seventeen goals, and they want to work make the world a better place by activating and by uh, teaching one million leaders so that these one million leaders can further impact one million people worldwide. Next is uh, Teach for India. So Teach for India, I think most of you must have heard about it. So it is a very well-known organization working in the field of education and educating poor people in India. So if anybody wants to work for like summer internship and any other thing, they can directly approach this uh, link and they can apply for the job or internship position. So this is all what I have wanted to share with you. And if you want to have any questions, I'm ready for it. Okay, Gaurav, it's a wonderful presentation and I'm really proud that the Gaurav, uh, <laughs> that the Gaurav I met in uh, when he was doing MTech and uh, BTech with me, that's Gaurav is a grown up well worthy boy and whom i can proud always always you make me proud gaurav i'm 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 really happy I'm very happy very happy i think so my colleagues definitely agree with me professor sudhir aap to jante hain isko so the boy is a very very um, achieved at his, this very time and the boy uh, present to his uh, participants in a very uh, informative way, which I think so probably some of the things was even not known to me. The best part, uh, Gaurav, about your presentation is that you are making uh, our freshers, our students of second and third year and even fourth mm -hmm. years who are launching for IITs now, fine, mm -hmm. because everybody is not thinking about going overseas. So yes, they are launching for IITs, fine, and this is the wonderful way to give them information. So congratulations for that, first of all, Gaurav. So and uh, I just want to know first, very point you mentioned that doing phd from juit is of equivalence when the persons yes, do get it from iit and other. all fine yes, and yes. so i want you please kindly emphasize to our students uh, as you already mentioned in your ppt that your acumen your thought process for doing phd yes. should be a matter of interest in spite yes. of thinking yaar bas mujhe doctorate apne naam ke aage lagana hai it should not be like this, fine. So yeah. you very well uh, explain them, but I wanted to know, Gaurav, that you think that your B.Tech, M.Tech ka jo ek base hota hai, fine. Uh -huh. Wo base aapko bahut zada help karta hai aapke PhD ke uh, research problems ko decide karne ke liye. Do you think so? Yes, I'm sure. I'll give an example. Okay. So uh, I was in my third year. I'll give an example of JUIT itself. So it will be a big story. Sorry. So uh, I was in my second year. So firstly, I was taught microbiology, like first bio course that we have going through was microbiology that was taught by Professor Sudhir Sahal sir. So that was a subject that really ignited my research passion in me. So I'm really thankful to Sudhir Sahal sir. I never told him that this is the first time. I'm beautiful, that, so. beautiful. So that subject really ignited me like microbiology was very beautiful subject. It was very beautifully taught by sir and the labs also was very beautifully taught by sir. So that was the point that really created in my mind that ignited my mind that I should do this. I should do research. Then I move ahead to do plant tissue culture. I studied plant tissue culture in my fourth sem. In my fourth sem, then Himant ma'am taught me a plant tissue culture and animal tissue culture. And I was really awed by the utilization of the plants for micro propagation techniques and different techniques. So later on, I, uh, I did my project like BTEC project and master project in plant tissue culture itself. So these two subjects actually really ignited my research passion in myself. So after that, I was really sure, doubly sure after these two subjects, just subjects, these subjects ignited my research passion. So if you go for a training in a good institute, like I strongly recommend students from JUIT to go to trainings to, F I did my training for FRI. I did training on plant tissue culture itself from FRI. So if you go to training in a good institute like FRI or IIT or anywhere else, you will get to know different techniques, different people, and you will learn a lot there. Then when you come back to JP, you can use those techniques because techniques are same everywhere, right? We have same instrument everywhere. We have PCR everywhere. 
if we see molecular biology, everything is based on PCR itself, right? If you're doing computational biology, everything is based on the computer itself. You, have, you just need to know Python code, right? Just for just an example. So resources are everywhere. It all depends on the students, right? There's no need to go to IIT, no need to go to CSIR lab. They have very good professors in JP. If anybody is interested, like, I, I just want to mention one thing, like after my B.Tech, uh, uh, Himant ma'am proposed me to do PhD from JP. So I regret that decision. I want to, now I feel that I should have done that. <laughs> so if I would have done that, I would have completed that way years before. So I kind of regret that opportunity because I would have done my PhD and and I, I was going through the papers that Hemant Ma'am is providing. So there are papers in Nature's Group scientific report as well. So see, in JURT also we are getting very good research papers. Similarly, in IITs also we are getting same research papers in the same platform. So it all depends on the faculty and the students itself and your research acumen as the Ma'am have described. So that's it. <laughs> Sir, please. About Okay, Gaurav, thank you very much for the beautiful seminar. And I'm sure in this current COVID situation, many of our students are planning to stay in India actually. And you focus mainly on Indian institutes and that's really wonderful. And we are really happy that you are achieving some big things like doing PhD from IIT and maybe after PhD you will be going abroad for postdoc and will be a good researcher as well. And today you can see our many of the department faculty yes, including HOD sir are already here in webinar. Yes, sir. So it's a proud moment for all of us. So I just want to ask you what is your current research topic and how you are enjoying it? So my current topic is again related to plant and animal. So during my BTEC, like BTEC and MTEC, I was working on plant issue culture. So yes. I always want plant to be next to me right so i'm working on a plant based compound i have isolated a compound out of a plant that is pongamia so i'm working on that and i'm also working on the therapeutic use of that plant based compound on uh, breast cancer and also in prostate cancer and related aspects so i'm working in the um, field of amalgamation between plants and animals and i'm working in the field of molecular endocrinology and applied biodiversity okay. So it's a mix of both plants and animals and maybe I'm trying to find a therapeutic out of plants. It's so you have become more nature friendly now. <laughs> plant <laughs> and biodiversity. So plant and biodiversity is also the molecular endocrinology. So yeah, my, yeah, most of the work, most yeah, of the work now is related. Applications also. Yes, sir. Uh, so so, so more, I more, there are... Yeah, there are two, three questions also from students. Please look at the yes, chat sure. box and then please answer. Okay, Gaurav, I can facilitate you. The questions were... So I never wanted to leave those opportunities. Now, further ahead, I'm really inclusive about uh, computational biology. Specifically, uh, the next field is next generation sequencing and computational biology. So. I'm having feeling that I will post for postdoc, I will be doing that. So according to me, if you, like it depends on you, right? If you want to stick to one domain or if you want to keep changing your domain and keep learning new things, novel things. So for me, learning novel things is very important. So from BTEC, I, want, I did my work in plants, then I did in animals. Now I'm doing in plant and animals both. Next I'm thinking of working in computational field ahead. So that is my perception. It depends on person to person. So I think this time specifically, uh, this COVID time will be helpful for you to know what you really want to work on. And I feel for future work, computational biology is the next thing, specifically this next generation sequencing, big data analysis. This things is on a rise right now. So I, I, my strong recommendation to students is if they can avail this opportunity, both the amalgamation of a wet lab and this uh, computational work, if they can incorporate in their research work, that would be really helpful for them in future. Sudhi, sir, you want to ask Thank you, Gaurav, uh, for your time. And uh, thank you so much for the words of appreciation for thank all you, of sir. us and for the department. Really proud of you. I'm so happy to see you uh, so expressive, so confident, and uh, 
and so uh, like a peaceful i think you are doing nice job in iit guwahati i'm sure about that and uh, also let me know you one thing like today our trp is maximum for this webinar <laughs> <laughs> yes sir <laughs> no sir <laughs> so, jp is really close to my heart and also it gave me a lot so the base was formulated there itself so, so please do good. come whenever you can come back and uh, let us have another session in juit so we we'll sure, love sure. you have and be back for a few days yes. do come yes, and take sure. care of you sir so i was plan- <laughs> sir, i was planning to come to uh, jp like last week but i think there is 14 days quarantine period so <laughs> last last week i was thinking of going to shimla because my uh, grandparents live in shimla like maternal okay. grandparents so okay. i was thinking to come to juit as well सर मैंने ना संजय भट्ट सर मैंने सर मैंने संजय भट्ट जी को कहा था बिकॉज सर वो इनके चाचू हैं जो हमारे अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट में हैं मैंने उन्हें कहा था कि भाई आज का वेबिनार यू नीड टू ज्वाइन एंड सी व्हाट योर नेफ्यू हैज डन ग्रेट इन हिज लाइफ मैम आई नो दैट आई नो सो गौरव देयर आर टू मोर क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स हाँ जी सर प्लीज 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 सर डॉक्टर राहुल प्लीज सॉरी आई एम इंटरप्टिंग सो इट वॉज थैंक यू गौरव फॉर a uh, wonderful you, webinar you know because i have seen you are an example how you have grown from strength to strength over the years i have seen you grown as a person or as a researcher and that's tremendous uh, this that i wanted to say thank you so much sir <laughs> thank you dr rahul thank you so much uh, uh, i also want to say something i think ha huh, sir please <laughs> Hi, uh, yeah, Gaurav. It was really nice. Congratulations! Thank you. So you have you, sir. very well from your B Tech to ongoing PhD program. So, by the way, who is your supervisor in IIT Guwahati? Uh, so, my supervisor. I have two supervisors. One is Professor Lata Rangan, ma'am. She is presently HOD of IIT Guwahati B Tech department, and the second is uh, Professor Anil Mukund Limai, sir. So he works okay. on molecular endocrinology, and Professor Lata Rangan, ma'am, works on applied biodiversity. Okay, so do you know Uttapal Bora there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uttapal Bora, sir. Yeah, uh, we were in uh, PhD together, like in IGIB. Okay. Yes, sir. So probably, yes, sir. like uh, he is also very well known to us. Yes, sir. He is doing very so, great. Uh, yeah, if very you well get known chance, my. Uh, if you get chance, uh, my. Can we have a regard? Yes, sir. So Janki has asked another question. That along with the internship and your uh, trainings, Gaurav, she asked that what other things for a B Tech student you suggest to do during his or her undergraduation. Can Can you please pardon the question? Sorry, yes. I didn't. They, she it. asked that that along with internships or trainings, mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. a mandatory part of B Tech program, mm-hmm. what else a student can do to improve her or his acumen for research. during btech program i believe like there are a lot of uh, webinar series and like ed- education series and education things in internet right now so they can learn this python first of all it is very helpful for future studies mm-hmm. and also uh, they can go through this uh, edx there is edx and coursera yeah. they can do some of the free uh, seminars and nptel is one that is been uh, floated with from iits and iics so yes. they can uh, see from there itself so for research i think you have to get into research or you have to do lab work or do some of the computational work to uh, increase your uh, acumen for the research i believe like they have to work somewhere i think training is the best thing like training in some of the institute if they get an opportunity and there are a lot of institutes and don't worry apply to different professors apply to many professors everywhere you will get a call from anybody of them for training specifically and even for phd positions also you can talk to them for jrf also you can talk to them so no worries 
be confident talk to professors and, and don't shy the main thing is don't be shy about it gora we need your presentation some of the students yes, asked yes, for your presentation i made this presentation so that it can be as you so, so you please kindly it. mail it to the team yes ma'am kindly yes. mail it to the team yes. so they will share it or i will share it on the platform where i keep your webinar yes ma'am so i think so time is running short anybody would like to ask anything from gaurav uh, the platform is open please uh, put your questions in the chat box if anybody have rest gaurav it's always been a proud because two minutes left we don't want to even leave these two minutes i just want to know gaurav uh, are, are you uh, what when you are expecting to complete your phd ma'am uh, i will next year i think i will be able to complete okay. like, presently i am in my fourth year so generally takes five years in iit so five so, years or so more than five years so, so are you believe, on release of some publications from your yes, side yes ma'am i have done i have i have one publication scientific report and one more is down the line so we are thinking in phytochemistry oh, that's so right. a review right okay. now and i have done some work related to transcriptome sequencing so i have treated my cells cancer cells with uh, my compound and we have done transcriptome analysis so i am writing a paper on that as well so by next year i think i'll be having two or three more papers okay. so there is again one question they asked that how we can reach to the indian professors and the indian so, scientists yeah. the question i given, asked, I I've given all the uh, links so i given the links in my session so i'll be sharing with them directly go to the website go to the department website one more thing i want to tell i didn't i just means if you are going for phd in iits okay in iits there are different uh, departments such as biotech department department for nanotechnology department for energy then there is central for rural technology so you can apply for four or five uh, all these uh, departments and send there yes sir okay okay सॉरी फॉर इनकनवीनियंस बच्चे है ना अब हमने इस बार जूम पे किया नेक्स्ट टाइम वील नीड टू शिफ्ट इट ऑन गूगल मीट सो दैट द टाइम लिमिटेशन विल नॉट बी देयर सो आई थिंक सो लेट एवरीबॉडी जॉइन फॉर अ वाइल वी जस्ट पुट मैसेज एवरी या 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 द टीम विल टेक अ प्रेजेंटेशन फ्रॉम यू फाइन सो आई विल पुट इट है ना और मोर ओवर आई विल सी इफ इन द रिकॉर्डिंग इट अपीयर्स वेरी क्लियरली बिकॉज़ वी विल पुट द नो नो मैं आई शेयर द प्रेजेंटेशन एज़ वेल बिकॉज़ इट विल बी सो दैट बिकॉज़ द लिंक्स विल बी लिंक्स आई विल शेयर द लिंक्स ऑन द लिंक्स या फाइन फाइन Fine, better fine. Just wait for a moment. I think so. Let everybody join. So, Gaurav, you are in IIT right now. Yes, sir. Guwahati, sir. IIT Guwahati. IIT Guwahati is okay. So, yes. uh, you are doing some work in lab, even in uh, this circumstances. No, no, sir. I am right now in uh, Kodwar, sir, my hometown. Uttarakhand. Okay, okay, okay. You are in yes, Uttarakhand. Yes, sir. So, so let us know if you need, in case you need anything from uh, our side. Yes, you are sir. most welcome. Like yes, maybe any uh, for post talk, you need anything, or or any any other support sure. you need from others sure, our sir. side. You are most sure, welcome. Sir. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Sir. Actually, you know. uh when our student they go and uh, attain higher studies or uh, do a job so that is the ultimate uh, uh, satisfaction for a teacher also yes sir humne padhaya aur wo life mein set ho gaya han ji otherwise you know uh, that is something our last uh, outcome as a student yes. when they go and settle in life yes so uh, i am really very happy that you are going in that direction and learned so many things in this uh, like journey animal plant and yes, so many things so yes, i think uh, whenever the condition is fine you yes, can sir. come and visit and let us have a a one to one uh, real lecture also yes, uh, and you know got a uh, you will be happy to know that we in jp have a, a incubation center from last 3 years oh, that is great. a chief minister startup uh, incubation uh, center Okay. So I never knew that. Is, yeah, <laughs> so that is there, and uh, uh, the students they are incubated there and get twenty five thousand per month as a fellowship. Uh -huh. So, but uh, your presentation is so good because you touched all the right uh, and uh, all the needed information for the students. And it's very good for uh, Synapse team also that even in India, what is going on? Yes, and uh, I will appreciate if you send a. good snap and you are uh, like where you are doing phd so that i'll put it on a website <laughs> okay sir sure <laughs> sir, sure, sure. <laughs>
Yes. So, Gaurav, I think so. You start continue. Maybe few will join again, or but uh, at least from nineteen twenty have joined back. Fine. Right? So at least uh, you can continue with because another question which uh, is there in the pipeline. Where were we? If if you remember your last question, like what else you can do? Yes. No, they ask for how you can approach the scientists and professors in India. So that yes, you mentioned that from your links they can access all from those. the links as now well. Now the as next question is there, dear. Which, yes, ma'am. I, I, I was trying to say that I haven't described all the links, but most of the links I have covered. The most of the top universities I have covered the yes. links, yes. and I will yes. I'll put more links as well. Like for IITs, you can go to any Fine. of the IIT website, department, and the faculties. One thing that I was saying, I was interrupted is. Uh, any other student like even if you are doing bioinformatics you can go to center for nanotechnology as well so you can yes, directly yes. apply for nanotechnology phd as well i never knew that so when i during my days of um, like during my btech and mtech so i just applied for biotech department in all the iits so there are biotech depart biotech people can biotech and bioinfo people can apply for nanotechnology energy environment and there is center for rural technology that is uh, that uh, that is also the place where any anybody and everybody can apply so it's a multidisciplinary field so people like i would strongly recommend students who are applying for phd they should apply for all of these uh, like centers and because the money that in the prospectus is the same they will take 1000 i think for each of the institute like for it guwahati if they are applying for it guwahati they will take 1000 rupees and they can apply for four or six schools like inside IIT Guwahati only there is nanotechnology biotechnology energy environment even for chemical engineering people can apply so biotech can apply for all or do all of those five uh, like schools and centers so that is what i really so, wanted to convey to students that's that's wonderful sir uh, gorab because the thing is that should be i think so now students should understand now diversity, diversity. should be the fine one should be stick with the diversity in spite of sticking with just one very thing get your good education in one thing get your good hands on one very thing and then afterward like computational thing your uh, transcriptome thing your genomic things fine being a biotechnologist or bioinformatics they should have at least a flavor of all those things and then definitely phd will be in one or two uh, arenas we cannot focus everything in our phd program and if something else is there as you very well suggest that you will not like like to go for computational things mm. in the future which is definitely a beautiful thing because it is like now you are opening in yourself into a globe mm -hmm. and when the global things are there when the lakhs and lakhs of things mm. were there in order to minimize down mm. and tip down computational aspect mm. should be in your pocket yes, fine and so that's a wonderful way of moving ahead with yeah. your science and research yeah. gorav i'm i'm very happy the systematically and in a very gradual way i'm just saying mm. you are not just abruptly jumping you are gradiently you are going fine and you are thinking about now this thing you need mm. to learn so yes. that gives i think so a good input to our students also mm. that along with their btech trainings and uh, uh, mm. programs which people have asked i think so learning some computational aspects learning mm. some bioinformatical aspects mm. vice versa to btbi yes. students will definitely add a rich flavor in yeah. their uh, streams i think so i know mm. one more question is there uh, utkarsha has asked us sir how we can frame our sops or how we can make them more effective Uh, your statement of purpose it's very easy just talk to the professors in jp they'll help you out <laughs> you can, you can talk. <laughs> so see i was always help like himat ma'am have always helped me uh, because she was my uh, guide as well so she always guided me through it so you write a sop uh, by yourself first then show to any of your mentors any of the faculties you are okay with and you are comfortable with they will definitely help you out because they are the closest one and feel don't feel shy to meet them to uh, talk to them right that is one of my uh, suggestion to all of you like you write it yourself then take suggestion from the faculties they'll help you out definitely so i don't have any more question now with me uh, gara so mm -hmm. sir mujhe lagta hai ab hum off kar sakte hain डिपार्टमेंट थैंक यू सुधीर सर एंड डॉक्टर तीरथ विल ऑल्सो लाइक टू कंक्लूड बाई से
uh, few words. Tirat sir. I think so. Tirat sir is not yet joined. Might be there would be some problem. So, Tika Gaurav, thanks for your time once again. God bless you. Keep Thank growing you in life. Fine. And do well. And uh, JUIT is always welcoming you with the open arms. Abhi sir ne bhi bol diya, kuch aur chahiye to do come over. Fine. Yes, sir, so, sure. And students are also thanking you uh, as I got the chat. Fine. So, everybody is appreciative about your presentation. Thank you, Gaurav. God bless you, Vita. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye -bye.